Gadget Report number four. I'm on it. And now, from a non-disclosed location deep within the heart of the Geek Intelligence Agency, this is the Gadget Report with your temporary host, Neil Campbell. Other than iPad and iPhone 4, I haven't really bought any gadgets since the end of Geek Brief TV. But a gadget at the top of my wish list is a Pico projector. At CES, Microvision announced it's making magic by bringing multi-touch to miniature projectors. Pico Magic applications can be used for business presentations, entertainment, education, and gaming. The technology will let users interact with an image projected on any surface using multi-touch gestures. <laughs> Imagine it projected on a shirt and you, excuse me, ma'am, I need to pinch and zoom, please. In addition to multi-touch, Microvision is also bringing 3D to tiny projectors. If this sounds as tempting to you as it does to me, patience is gonna have to be the virtue that we nurture as we wait for this tech to make its way into products released in 2013, if the Mayans are wrong, of course. The Geek Intelligence Agency may be down, but we're certainly not out. Rock Store unveiled the amphibious, ruggedized, portable hard drive with real-time hardware encryption. Designed for sensitive data storage and protection, whether you're in the GIA or the CIA. The Amphibious enables two levels of authentication for the unlocking of protected files. Data is unlocked with the combination of a smart card and a keypad code. It uses NITS and FIPS 140-2 validated crypto for real-time hardware encryption. No external software is required. The box does all you need. It'll accommodate either a SATA hard drive up to one terabyte or a solid state DDS. It connects using either either USB or FireWire 800 and is compatible with both Mac and PC. As more and more people create web TV, camera makers have an opportunity to solve some new media challenges. Something that should be built into every camera moving forward is the ability to control the camera and monitor what it's seen from a smartphone. Four JVC Averio camcorders announced at CES do exactly that. They shoot 1080p encoded as AVC HD with a 24 megabits per second sampling rate. Built-in Wi-Fi enables wireless video transfer and a novelty feature lets users email a 15 second 640 by 360 video clip to up to eight email addresses. That's probably a cool feature for people with kids, but the feature that gets me all moist and faint is the cameras are accompanied by apps for Android and iDevices. The app provides live monitoring and control from a smartphone, or if you'd like to control from a computer, there's software for that too. JVC announced seven new camcorders ranging in price from $230 to $900. Four of the seven have the groovy control features that I just told you about. The consensus is CES was kind of boring this year, but this thing, the Samsung transparent window display has enough awesome sauce to balance a bazillion iPhone cases trying to get our love. Here we have the transparent smart window, which is a 2012 CES innovation award winner. Uh, the thing to understand about this is that it's a 46 inch TFT LCD display with a 1366 by 768 resolution. Uh, one of the unique features about this display obviously is that it's full touch, allowing us to be able to do certain things in the home or even also in the business. If everyone likes to have a small kitchen TV, usually those TVs are only about 19 or 20 inch in size. Here you can practically put this on a window, you now have a 46 inch TV and on top of that, you also even have a computer that allow you to do your everyday uh, things. One of those things would be check our Twitter account, maybe check all the people that we're following on Twitter. Also, be able to do home office work, either our presentations, maybe even uh, our flight information for our next flight. And then also be able to do our homework, such as recipes. Who doesn't need a recipe when they're cooking? I know I do as well as being able to watch TV while you're cooking. So it definitely is a practical application for anyone's home. This is the outside looking in. So this is completely transparent. So what that means is that this is representing the sunlight coming through. Also with that sunlight, let's say we wanna be able to dim that light from coming into the home. We have a blind feature that allows us to close the blinds. Therefore, no more sun is coming into the house. Everybody asks, well, what happens when it goes to nighttime? What do we do? Well, the LCD has built-in lights at the top and the bottom of the screen. 
allowing us to get illumination during the nighttime. That's a gadget report. It's now a podcast in iTunes. It's easy to subscribe and it's free. Just go to itunes.gadgetreport.tv and I'll take you there. If you want to help the show succeed, rate the podcast in iTunes and take a second to write a review. If you prefer YouTube, go to youtube.gadgetreport.tv and I'll take you there. If you need a domain name, go to name.gadgetreport.tv and I'll take you there. And finally, if you want to become a producer, go to produce.gadgetreport.tv and I'll take you there. Thanks for your time. I'm at Neil Campbell on Twitter. I'll be back in a bit with more gadget goodness from gadgetreport.tv. Yes.